Hey guys, so I just wanted to film a video telling you guys what my favorite um, high-end foundation is. Um, this was requested by Dinah199, so thank you so much for requesting, and thank you so much for watching, and your, all of your support. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background at times. Also, yes, I've been filming ahead a bunch, and I'm sure you might have seen the vlog. If not, I'm not sure when this is going up, but I have a vlog explaining why. Uh, coming up soon if it's not already up. So anyways, um, my favorite is the, I'm going to be reading it off of my naked, of my naked, of my iPad. So anyways, it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I love it. It's amazing. It comes in 18 different shades, so it's a wide variety of shades. Anybody can find their skin tone. And I would say, yeah, it, it suits your skin for neutral, warm, cool all of that it just says it in the in like the description like a light shade beige with slight pink undertones so that's more for the cool people um and if it says something like let's see what this one says medium light shade beige with rose undertones that's still for like the cool people let's find this very fair porcelain shade with subtle pink undertones what are they all saying that for neutral pink undertones that would be for somebody with neutral skin so i mean it just says it right here in the description it's one fluid ounce it's a regular normal size for all foundations it costs 39 dollars, which is it's pretty expensive but i think it's well worth it and the reason that i like it is because it matches your skin tone perfectly and it's medium to full coverage it's very buildable it's very blendable it's let your skin show through a little bit it looks very natural like I love it. And the only thing that you have to do is just set it. You know, it's really all you need to do. It doesn't come off. It lasts all day. For me, it lasted from 8 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. And it was, it's just amazing that it has, like, that type of staying power. It just mind boggles me. It's my ultimate favorite. Now, if you don't want to spend $40, though, but I know you were asking for a, a high-end foundation... I really, I know I talk about this a lot, and I'm going to be getting, hopefully, some foundations uh, for Christmas, or maybe after Christmas, or around that time I might buy some, because they always have sales going on, but the one that I just, I always go back to, always, always go back to, and I feel like this one is that same version, but, like, more. So, um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup, and this is 0.8 fluid ounces, and, I mean, you've all seen it, you've all heard me talk about it, if you've been here, um, if not, if you're new, subscribe, my name is Emily, um, but it's just a really full coverage, long-lasting foundation at the drugstore. It ranges from about 10 to $15 at the drugstore, and it really... It fits my skin tone very well. I'm not sure if they... I don't think they have it for, like, different um, undertones and things like that. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but it's a really great product. I really like it. It's full coverage. Now, it doesn't let your skin show through as much as the Naked Skin one does. But it's very full coverage. You can put it on lightly, but it's still going to be pretty full coverage. It's what I'm wearing today. And, I mean... You can't really see my dark circles. I don't like to put a, a ton of this underneath of here because um, sometimes it might crease up. I'm afraid it will, uh, but it hasn't actually creased up for me, so that's good. Um, but I don't know. I just don't have a concealer yet, but it covers up my dark circles pretty well. I just don't like to pack on product underneath of my eye area. Uh, I don't want it to look cakey. Like I said, it ranges from $10 to $15. It's not a full fluid ounce. It's 0.8 fluid ounces, which that's okay with me because literally you need a little and it goes a long way. It's very easy to blend with your fingertips with a brush. Same goes for the naked skin, but I prefer for the naked skin a brush just because um, it's a little bit mess. It's more liquidy than this. It's literally like a cream. You can open this up and tip it over and it's not coming out. It's not going anywhere. No. It's amazing. It's it's, it's amazing. I talk about it a lot. It won't clog up your pores. Um, no, I don't know about that. It might clog up your pores, but, I mean, you should always cleanse your face after a day of wearing makeup. So, I don't think it will clog up your pores. If you have problems like that, um, you just need to 
remove it all the time. That's really the only thing. Like, people are like, oh, this foundation always clogs my pores, and it's kind of like, you should be washing your face afterwards, and that should get most of it out, or all of it, if not. So, yeah, this foundation, I definitely recommend the Naked Skin Foundation. I definitely recommend If I can find that video, I'm going to link it down below for you guys, because I know that would be helpful, because I'm sure there's probably some things that I'm missing out, but yeah. And it's actually one of the foundations that I really want to get. I just, I haven't gotten it yet because I'm like, well, it's like $40, What I don't know. So, yeah. But I'm hopefully going to be getting it soon. Um, if I do, you know, you obviously see a tutorial with it and all of that fun stuff. Um, but I'm not sure when I would get it is the thing. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I'll leave the links down below where you can get both of these foundations. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.